Welcome to our III class, Week 2. May I invite everyone to have a moment of prayer as we start our learning time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our study room with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our friendships with kindness. Fill our school with love. Amen. St. Thomas Aquinas, patron saint of students, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, I am your subject teacher, and here are my contact details if you need it. Feel free to communicate respectfully. We start our lesson with this life quote from Helen Keller, American author and educator who was blind and deaf, saying, Alone we can do so little, together we can do so much. Truly, community involvement will enrich your life, familiarize you with your community, and connect you to people and ideas that will positively impact your perspective for the rest of your life. Helping your community is, a, is an opportunity for you to grow as a person, to better understand how you fit into the world around you. Let us know more about it together. Would you like to follow me in our learning? Our today's lesson is all about concept paper on community immersion. Are you ready to know more about this topic? Let us learn together. For today's learning session, here are our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify a problem in the community that needs to be addressed. Analyze the needs of the community based on what is observed and experienced, and determine a possible solution to an identified problem. Here are the key terms that you will encounter along the learning journey. Concept paper, title page, introduction, rationale, project description, project needs, and cost. Community immersion allows individuals who are not familiar with the people and communities where they will work immerse themselves in these settings. This gives them the opportunity to reflect on their assumptions, attitudes, and knowledge based on their profession and to gain cultural experience or competence. Concept paper is a tool or a means for an emergency company or an institution to decide or evaluate whether a proposal, a project, or a research is worth investing. It also provides an overview of the project, help funding agencies eliminate proposals, help save time and effort for both the proponents and funding agencies, according to Sipasho and Barot 2019. The organization of a concept paper for a project includes the different parts. We have title page, introduction, rationale or background, project description, project needs, and cost. Title page. It includes the project title, name of the proponents, and school, and date of submission. Always remember that almost all, all good writing begins with terrible first efforts. You need to start somewhere. Introduction State the information about the community to show that you understand how their life is in the community and give a background on how you were able to choose that particular community. You can use episode 5 as your basis and the, uh, and the, and the interview on community member as your background for this part. Rationale or background. First, state the gap in knowledge to be addressed by the project based on your needs assessment. State the problem to be solved and state the project significance. How will the project contribute to the welfare of the community? Project description. State the goals and objectives of the project. Present the methodology, the action plan, the project activities, 
or approach, then present the timeline, state the benefits or outcomes, state how success of outcomes will be evaluated. Project needs and costs. Make an outline of the main budget. Include the item description and amount. Explain or justify how the budget will be used. And if needed, list the personnel or equipment needed for the project. Tips in good writing. Ideas that are interesting are important. Organization that is logical and effective. Voice that is individual and appropriate. Word choice that is specific and memorable. Sentence fluency that is smooth and musical. Conventions that are correct and communicative. Steps in, the, in writing. First, pre-write. Make an outline. Plan. Write a first draft. Redraft and edit for proofing. Based on your answers on episode 5 on community immersion, you gathered information from your interview, write a sentence outline of your concept paper. The, the activity template is given in this learning package. Also, in preparation of your urban gardening performance task, you can now start making your project plan. You can use the attached template. Now, let us recall the III concepts you gained from your discussion. You can create a graphic organizer in your notebook if you want. First, a concept paper provides an overview of the project, help funding agencies to eliminate proposals, help save time and effort for both the proponents and funding agencies. It can be organized using different parts, title page, introduction, rational or background, project description, project needs, and cost. As we continue to learn in this new normal, let us be guided with this life quote saying, Without a plan, even the most brilliant business can get lost. You need to have goals, create milestones, and have a strategy in place to set yourself up for success. In relation to our lesson, why is planning needed in community immersion? You can put your insight in the attendance check of your BlessMo account. Let us now have our closing prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father, thank you that you have revealed your love to us today. We invite you to send us out from here in the power of the Holy Spirit. Fan into flame the gifts that you have given us. Come reveal your grace and truth to us each day. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Then the Father, and the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the mode of submission of your outputs, you can communicate with me through our FB Messenger or Class GCEP. Submit your outputs and other requirements in the blessed move on time. Feel free to keep in touch always. May Mary, our Mother and Patroness, inspire you always. God bless and keep safe always. See you in our synchronous meeting. Bye!